differentiation tangents and normals equations of tangents and normals this is the curve of y is equal to x squared when x is equal to 2 y is equal to 2 squared 4 so there is the point 2 4 on the curve the gradient function or the derivative of y equals x squared is y is equal to 2x this straight line is called the tangent to the curve at this point it touches the curve at just one point the point that has these coordinates what's special about the tangent is that the gradient of this line the tangent line and the gradient of the curve at this point so the gradient of the curve only at this point is the same okay so the gradient of the curve right there is equal to the gradient of the tangent line so what is the gradient of the curve at this point here when x is equal to 2 well we know that dy by dx was equal to 2x so if we substitute in the x value there into our derivative so then we get 2 times 2 which is 4 so the gradient of the curve right here is equal to 4 and remember the gradient of the tangent will be the same as the gradient of the curve there so what's the gradient of the tangent when x is equal to 2 it's the same it's equal to 4 so what's the equation of the tangent now the tangent is just a straight line and we know that the tangent goes through these coordinates to 4 and that the tangent's got a gradient that's equal to 4 and the gradient is typically represented by um, the letter m so m is equal to 4 so using the coordinates to 4 and the gradient which is equal to 4 and then I'm going to use y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1 and this equation is from uh, the topic on coordinate geometry so y minus the y coordinate which is 4 is equal to the gradient x minus the x coordinate which is 2 so y minus 4 is equal to 4x minus 8 so y is equal to 4x minus 4 this is the equation of the tangent the normal is a line that's perpendicular to the tangent and as you can see from the sketch here the tangent and the normal here are at right angles to each other the normal also goes through this point 2 4 and the gradient of the normal well the gradient of the tangent was 4 and the gradient of a line that's perpendicular to that one so we take the reciprocal of this and then change the sign that's positive this is negative so the gradient of the normal will be minus 1 over 4 so as before we can write down the equation of the line using y minus y1 equals m x minus x1 so then I've got y minus the y coordinate is equal to the gradient x minus the x coordinate I should get rid of the fraction here instead of multiplying out the brackets I should get rid of the fraction if I multiply by 4 on both sides on the left hand side there's the 4 brackets y minus 4 is equal to minus 1 brackets x minus 2 so I've multiplied both sides by 4, so the 4 cancels on the right hand side here. Expanding the brackets on the left, 
4y minus 16 is equal to, I'm expanding the brackets here, minus x plus 2. And then if I take all the terms to the left hand side, so x plus 4y minus 18 is equal to 0. This is the equation of the normal. Right, next example, using the function notation this time. We've got the equation of the curve. We're looking for the equation of the tangent to the curve at x equals 2. The tangent is a straight line. To write down the equation of a straight line, you need the coordinates of one point, and you need the gradient. To get the coordinates, you've got the x value, put it into this to get the y coordinate. So f of 2 is equal to 2 brackets 2 squared minus 3 times 2 plus 4, and that gives 6. So now we know the point 26 is on the curve. f dash x, so the derivative. So that 2 times 2 gives you 4x. Subtracting 1 from the power just gives 1. Minus 3. Because that's got a power of 1. If you do 1 times the minus 3, you get minus 3. And then if you take away 1 from the power here, you get 0. x to the power of 0, anything to the power of 0 is 1. And constants give you nothing. So that's the derivative. And using this, I can work out the gradient when x is equal to 2. Eight minus three gives five. So the gradient of the curve at this point is this. It's five. So the equation of the tangent y minus the y coordinate is equal to the gradient brackets x minus the x coordinate. So y minus six is equal to five x minus ten. So y is equal to 5x minus 4. The equation of the normal, the normal goes through the same point, 2, 6, but its gradient is not 5. This is the gradient of the tangent to the curve. Because the normal is perpendicular, I would have to take the reciprocal of this and change the sign. So that's the gradient and these are the coordinates. So y minus the y coordinate is equal to the gradient x minus the x coordinate, bringing the 5 to the left hand side. Gives this. So 5y minus 30 is equal to minus x plus 2. I'll bring all the terms to the left hand side. So x plus 5y minus 32 is equal to 0. This is the equation of the tangent, of the uh, normal to the curve, not the tangent, the normal to the curve. 